All right, we're back. <laughs> All right, let's begin with the lost episodes. 22, like the others. 22, we're back in the gaming creepy process in that one. Yeah, wait, what? Max and Groupie. Huh? Zero, 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 four. What? Max and Groupie is an animated series aimed at preschoolers. Preschoolers? Each consists of three self-contained vignettes. Within each, Ruby is typically engaged in some sort of project or activity. Project? Max has a particular interest of his own, which either runs counter to Ruby or distracts her. Huh. One version was strangely different. Okay. In this video, oh. a DVD box was found in someone's house. Max and Ruby, huh? It's different than the normal Max and Ruby box art. Okay. This one had looked like it was crudely drawn in a black marker. Huh. On the back of the box, it listed four episodes. Four episodes? Perfectly. Really? The DVD itself was not scratched and it looked in pristine condition. Huh. The episode selection screen was strangely isolated with just a white screen with black text. Boring. The titles of the episodes I agree. were called Max and Ruby 1, with the numbers being changed as it went down the list. Let's see episode 1. From what the sources say, the huh. only rememberable moment Destroy a static frame of Max and Ruby standing next to each other in complete darkness. Huh. They were drawn with no mouths, no noses, and their eyes were replaced black. Their no eyes are black. The colors were red, and there was a faint static sound in the background. Static. When viewing the DVD more closely, Fine. the episode 4 what? had now been replaced with Rest in Peace. Mommy and Daddy. Rest in peace, Mommy and Daddy, huh? Goes static at this point. It's oh. believed that in the episode, <gasps> oh, oh God, no, 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 no! It's faintly seen with the words "Rest in peace, Mommy and Daddy" written on it. Oh shit! Loud voices are heard, and the scene shows <clears throat> like Max <clears throat> hanging himself in the ceiling, and Ruby walking in on him. In the final scene. It shows Ruby sitting near two gravestones. Two gravestones? One with rest in peace, mommy and daddy. One with rest in peace, mommy and daddy. And one saying, rest in peace, brother. And one, and another one, rest in peace, brother. She then looks at the camera. The Get away from us! Static image of Ruby. Huh? This time with the text saying, Death is our only release. Death is our only release. Oh my god, this is so violent. Jesus Christ. I'm not... I'm going to have nightmares. Shh. It's okay. I'm here to protect you. 21. All right. Happy, happy, Again? Happy, happy, Who's happy, happy? You'll see. Okay. Oh, it's... He looks so tasty. He was tasty before, but he's evil. Sonic? Oh. His vacation. He goes on a vacation to the beach. Hey, the beach! He was injured kids, and even talks down on a bully to not hurting a child. Oh, that's nice. The second episode, Hurt Happy, was about Happy's stick getting broken. He was getting broken. The children teamed up to help Happy Happy by giving him bandages and fruit. Huh. But as the episodes progressed, the show became weirder. And weirder. And weirder and weirder. <laughs> scene in episode four. Nate needs help. Happy age. I hit the camera with an accident. That's okay. He looked at the camera. Whoa. Giving off an evil smile and says, Whoa. What does Nate need for his boo boo? He talked. He continues to stare for 30 seconds. Fuck off. And then broke <laughs> the silence by saying, <laughs> That's right. That's right. A bandage. A bandage? Happy, happy. Made out of clay, a clay? With arms, baby blue eyes, and large dark green lips being held up by a bent, rusty stick. Rusty streak. I mean, stick. Casting on Nick Jr. every fortnight. Huh. The show became much more sinister. Huh. The rusty bent stick that was used became cleaner, and he began to develop a sinister stare with an evil grin. Huh. By episode seven. He oh! wasn't even made out of clay anymore. He's not tasty anymore. As soon as the eighth episode oh, aired, 
the show was suddenly taken off the air. Along with all the recent episodes, every trace of Happy Happy was removed, and not much is known about its existence. Oh yeah, Nickelodeon removed the show. They were never aired, possibly due to the sheer brutality and creepiness of the show altogether. I can't believe Happy Happy is there again. He returns. Oh my god, he returns. Yeah, that's the first Were you watching this? No. Okay. Angry Sylvester. Angry Sylvester. There was an episode back in 1998 which starred Sylvester from the Looney Tunes. Angry Sylvester. This episode was reported as being strangely different and disturbing when compared to other previously aired episodes. This particular episode did not have the same intro as the Looney Tunes cartoons usually would. Huh. It just skipped the title screen and displayed a living room of a house which was drawn entirely in two colors. Two colors? Red and black with no music. Okay. The only sound that could be heard during this part was a woman speaking in Hungarian saying, Directed by. The creepy thing about it is that Cartoon Network had not been broadcasted in Hungarian yet. Okay. There was no fade, but rather a jump cut straight to the next scene. Oh. It showed a bruised, eyeless Sylvester. Hey, Sylvester. Standing in front of him, something that appeared to resemble a military base. A military base. The scene was accompanied with dead silence. Huh. He didn't say anything. What? He just looked... Angry. Okay. In the That's next rude. Scene, he entered Ugh. the military base, but no one was there. Sylvester wanted revenge on the people for what they did to him. Poor guy. His claws grew to a ridiculous size. That God looks like clay, of course. He started to sabotage the military base by destroying all the lights hanging from the ceiling. Oh. The scene started flashing rapidly <laughs> as he started tearing down the lights and sparks of electricity could be heard, which sounded very loud. In the next scene, Sylvester was seen all huh. alone in an empty room. The room's floor was blood red. That's just and red. The walls looked as if it were on fire. That's just orange. The room contained two tables. Huh? A large one with a toy and screwdriver on it. Nice. And a small one. The TV. Super nice. The beams coming out of the window were misaligned. Huh. So they resembled. I want to pet a kitty right now. But outside the window was pitch black. What? Yeah, see. Sylvester proceeded to repair the toy Dalek when the okay. TV suddenly turned on by itself. Oh. The TV displayed an extremely creepy cartoon Whoa. with music that sounded like somebody randomly banging an electric guitar. Wow. Whoa, oh my god, his head came a few off. seconds later, it switched to a long, empty room. Whoa. With darkness on one end. That's the corridor. And Porky Pig on the other. Oh. He started firing his gun at the other end of the room, oh. saying things to the monster. Monster? Then the scene turned to static. Oh. A few seconds later, a very loud bang was heard. Wow. And the screen faded to red. Oh. It then faded back. To Sylvester ah! Oh God! Standing next to the wreckage of his TV, looking even more angry. Shut the fuck up, man! Bruises, and his eyes were now tinged blood red. Blood red. That creepy image of the horrifying, angry Sylvester uh, 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 stayed on the screen for about ten seconds, and then switched to black. After that, the normal Cartoon Network screen came back with the normal. Coming up next, screen. Okay, fuck that, I'm out. Hey. Ooh. Dragon Quest. I don't care, that's news from Nintendo. Nintendo, baby, bye!